Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the new Wondershare Recover It data recovery software tool. And you can download it directly by visiting the link under this video or just typing in the link there that's on your screen. Now once you download it, you're going to install it and you're going to see a screen like this. And this is a really neat data recovery software tool and it is very user friendly. The interface makes it easy to be specific as to what you want to recover from your computer or external devices. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of give you a brief recover it review and show you how the product works and kind of give you a demo of it. So here we are right now at the software. Now this is a free trial version you can download from that link that's under this video. And then what it's going to do is you can go ahead and use it to find out what files you can recover from your hard drive, your, your recycle bin, uh, whatever it is you're trying to recover data from. And then from that point on you can choose whether you want to purchase the software to actually recover those files. Um, the price I believe is around $39 or $49 for PC and the recover it Mac version I think is $59 or $69. It'll be available there on the website when you go there and check it out. And I think they have business versions of it as well. And so here we are at the main interface and you can see right here different options you can choose to recover files such as uh, right here uh, deleted files recovery and if you hover over it it'll tell you that uh, this option will allow you to recover accidental deleted files. Uh, shift deleted files or power failures. You can also recover files from your recycle bin. If you emptied it and lost all those files, you can get those back. Formatted disk recovery. A lost partition. If you deleted your hard drive partition, a hidden partition, lost partition, or resized partition, uh, this option will allow you to uh, recover those files. As well as external devices such as memory card recovery, a USB flash drive recovery, external hard drive, and other removable devices that you can attach to your computer. There's also a virus attack data recovery, a system crash data recovery, or boot failure if your files got deleted or lost from uh, some kind of a system crash or boot failure. Or you can just choose the all around data recovery, which, which will work for anything and everything. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click that option. Next, it's going to show me um, all of my uh, hard drives, my external devices, and things that are connected to my computer that it will search and scan and show me what can be recovered. So you can see here I have a few drives here, and I have some external drives and some partitions. So what I'm going to do is just click on this storage one I have right here and click Start. Now I'm not going to wait for the entire thing to run through. I have um, a lot of files on this. Well, actually it may not take very long at all. There it slowed down. Okay, you can see it's already found uh, 73, 88,000 files. So there's a lot of files on this drive. And so it's going to go through and read all these files. And then it's going to go through and read all the sectors to try to find out exactly what can be recovered or not. Now, once this is done, you can go over here and you can pause it or you can stop it. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And you can choose from the tree view. Um, you can kind of dig down deeper into each folder. Uh, and you can see the count of how many files are within each folder to find out what can be recovered. Or you can choose the files view. And you can view the files based upon their extensions or what type of file they are, such as a photo, video, audio. And so if I was to go to photo, you'll see there's over 38,000 of them. And then you can go down into each one of these and choose the type of file. So if you know exactly what you're looking for in the extension, it makes it a lot easier to try to find these files. And you can click on it and it'll bring up the folders. And then you can double click on the folders and it'll open up and show you those files. Uh, for videos, we can go to, let's go to click on MP4s. And if you double click, you'll see right here where it's given me all these options of files that I can uh, recover. And then also there's an option here that allows you to choose uh, based upon uh, the date. So if it's something you just deleted today, it'll, it'll show that up here. If it's something recently, recent month, or you can choose to customize. It kind of gives you this option to, because if you got hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of files, um, it makes it a lot easier just to filter and try to find what you're looking for. 
Now, down here in the bottom right, you're going to see that there's a little block here with four squares. If you click that, it's going to bring up and show you actual thumbnails and images of these files so you can see if they can be recovered or not. Now, obviously, with videos, it's not going to show you that. But if we was to go to something like documents and text files, uh, you'll see here that it kind of gives you a preview that shows you the text within these text files so you know that they can be recovered. Now sometimes you'll see a file that may look so anyway but if you can see this here it's kind of gibberish the the letters and stuff that's on this and so basically a file like this cannot be recovered but if you can read the, the text on it and it makes sense those are the files that can be recovered and so you can see here I have tens of thousands of these files and then once you're done with that all you have to do is click recover and it's going to recover all those files for you now if there's files you can't find maybe they've been deleted for a really long period of time or something you can choose to do a deep scan it's going to take a lot more time but it's going to dig a lot deeper within your computer your hard drive or your external devices to try to find those files that can be recovered so that's my review of the Wondershare recover it software um, it is one of the better ones that I have used recently um, I have been promoting and talking a lot about a product that we've been using for a long time called Data Recovery Pro um, but I, I think I might pref prefer recover it over top of that one so you can check it out you can get more details about it you can download the free trial for the PC or the Mac by going to the link there on your screen or just click the link directly under this video and um, and hopefully you guys will be able to recover your files too